So I was checking my mailbox for a pipe bomb recently when it dawned on me. Remember when England built that wiener dog tent? In case you don't keep up with orc lore or when that island in the Atlantic was on its Joker arc, 80 years ago, the British strapped a turret onto a Burger King and decided to take it to war. Into the fire! And suddenly, they did. Because by the time they finished it, the tank was already so dumb and obsolete that it was immediately tossed into a fancy garbage can called a museum. You belong in a museum. But the irrelevance of the wiener tog in real combat has made it hyper relevant in digital combat. Oh, I'm gonna absolutely straight up murder this AT8. Every brain dead feature that made it a disaster in 1940 makes it all the more legendary eight decades later. It's definitely a togger's moment. <laughs> Shut up. And I'm here to tell you why. Why is one of the slowest, heaviest, longest, dumbest dipshit vehicles in all the world of tanks so beloved and so much fun to play? <laughs> I'm also gonna cram in a bunch of irrelevant shit that you never asked for, but consider that my price of admission. The ocean is a soup. Well, it's filled with microplastics, so I hope you're hungry. That's him, officer. He wasn't using the weak wrist. <laughs> oh, shut <laughs> the- Yeah, I cleared the house. Off the fucking map. I will fucking kill you if you change the hot dog. Oh, <laughs> Shout out World of Tanks for sponsoring this video, because with all this inflation, money doesn't feel real anymore, and even approaching an ATM immediately turns my wallet to ash. What is real is watching your debit card disintegrate before your very eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all the microplastics are going into your body. <laughs> Which is why signing up for a new account at the link below using code BADGER, B-A-J-U-R, will get you all of this shit for free. We're talking three days premium, consumable coffee, cinnamon buns, and your very own TOG2 with the hot TOG skin. Yes! Yes! For free! Not to mention the game is already free, and I'm not even done yet. You win 10 games, and they'll hit you with three large first aid kits, three large repair kits, three automatic fire extinguishers, and three days premium. You win 20 games in the top 10, and the T1E6 is also all yours. So do me a favor and sign up using code BADGER so you can get all this for free. In a sentence, the absurdity of the TOG2 and why it's hated by so many and loved by so many more is simple. It was a tank in the wrong war. This behemoth of English steel was built under the assumption that World War II would be just like World War I, when the Axis clearly had other plans. Nah, we don't roll like that anymore. We're on some new shit called Blitzkrieg. The name screams this at you, because TOG stands for the old gang, as in the old-ass World War I tank designers that built the machine too archaic for the war that was being fought. I feel like this is a tank where you start it and it just sounds like... <laughs> That's why this shit was only a prototype, never saw combat, and is sitting in a museum right now that they can't even fucking remove it from. It's 80 tons, my guy. 80 tons. And for all you visual learners out there, imagine you have a ton. Then imagine you have 79 more tons. It's so heavy that it can't even exit the museum without destroying the ground it would cross. And don't think all this vitriol comes from a place of hatred. I'm telling you this because I'm impressed. Me destroying public infrastructure. I don't call this thing a carnival of pain because you can fit an entire carnival inside the cabin. <laughs> I call it that because every attribute is so freakishly extreme that it's either a carnival of pain for you or the person shooting at you. Either way, someone suffering. Take the weight, for example. Lugging around 80 tons of steel means its top speed is a blazing eight and a half miles per hour. For all my international viewers that haven't landed on the moon, that's approximately the walking speed of Mr. Krabs, making any movement an abstract kind of pain. <laughs> However, that 80 tons of mass also gives you a juggernaut health bar, greater than any other tier 6, meaning you can take round after round of armor penetrating abuse and still not go down. anyone firing at you is now experiencing this abstract pain because you can soak up so much fucking damage while refusing to die that it can be the difference between victory and defeat. Oh my god, there's so many tanks coming up over that ridge. I'm still here. I can take so much abuse. Oh, yo, we're gonna win this game. Yes, get this fool, boys. He missed. No, no, he, he missed. <laughs>
Another successful journey for the Tog. To clarify, the Tog isn't tanky in the traditional sense, which I know makes no sense. How can a tank not be tanky like my buddy Chowderhead that is allergic to water, even though he's made of water? You know Chowderhead, he's allergic to water. Dumbass was a fisher for eight years. He's allergic he to water? How? He yeah, is his, water. His body is always in constant pain. <laughs> Damn, that's just... pretty hydrophobic of you. Why would you say that? <laughs> I'm saying it's armor sucks. Ow. Because heavy tanks are usually like me with armor so dummy thick that nothing is going to penetrate unless you hit me with the right shell in the right spot. With less armor and more health, the Tog is more like a juggernaut from Modern Warfare 2. Fuck your life! Bing bong! You're definitely damaging him every time you shoot, but that damage is so minuscule that you're gonna have to hit him over and over and over again to chip away at his staggering health. So it doesn't matter if the entire enemy team, Young Thug, and Gucci Mane are firing at you, if you wanna take down a TOG, it's gonna take you all goddamn DAY. There's, There's no uh, way you're fighting think. Young Thug and Gucci Mane, all right? You don't have to fight. Fight young thug, bro. He's already in jail. He's gonna come second out. rate Shaboinger. You saw, you saw the staff he had. Did I just hear uh, the word saw. second rate Shaboinger? <laughs> Gosh, are you talking about the kid that like actually went to jail for Shaboingery? Like, imagine being brought in on felony tomfoolery charges. <laughs> The only trait more defining of the Tog than how slow and how heavy it is, is how long it is. Holy shit. Shit, shit, shit. Being the size of a Tesco may give you a ton of health, but it also makes you a gigantic artillery target that you can't run away from. God, leave me definitely. alone, Artie. God, scum of the earth! Yeah, they, uh, they've got you dialed in a little bit. Once they spot you, it's like they yoinked your IP address, because they track your every move and there is no escape. You know what's funny, too, is when people do the IP address meme and then they post a local IP address. <laughs> It's like, nice, bro. That's that's the one out of your router. That's your local IP address. <laughs> Even this never-ending bombardment doesn't get me down, because tanks constantly firing at me means their concealment rating drops, and they turn into easy marks for my teammates to obliterate. Get that motherfucker! You can laugh at this giant wiener all you want, but it's great bait, mate. What the dog doing? What the, what the dog doing? What the dog doing? What the, what the dog doing? Every weapon you point at a TOG results in five weapons being pointed back at you. The only surprising feature of this overgrown glizzy is the turret, because you'd think big TOG must mean big turret. Something spectacular, like the Dicker Max or Death Fridge that hits like a fucking meteor. Oh god, that KV-2 is about to get you. What KV-2? Oh, the KV-2 up my ass? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> yeah. 700 damage? What? Ooh. Turns out it's only a rapid firing 17 pounder, making it the only quality of this tank that isn't enormous. Spitting out a ton of rounds while tanking a ton of rounds is a perfect fit for the TOG's personality. You gon' get it, boy. Bang. Just give up now. Don't run. You'll only die tired. Goodbye. <laughs> you don't want none. Oh, I oh. got it. My reloads are nuts. That's 350 damage. You better get out of here, boy. You and your Canadian flag. Oh, done, done. Bigger doesn't necessarily mean better. Like a 12-inch beach ball, great. 12-foot beach ball, lawsuit. Objection! You're a little kid. You're on a San Francisco hill. You get bodied by a 12-foot beach ball, and you don't know how to combo break. You're gonna fucking die. You're gonna die. <laughs> it's like or a stun lock, but you just keep rolling. <laughs> You're gonna get command grabbed by the fucking beach. <laughs> it's literally a CC lock all the way down the hill. You can reroll that four times, you would die every time. <laughs> Smaller turret and higher frequency of shots means a higher frequency of kills for me to steal. And I'm gonna take every single one of them like a fucking rat. I oh. Hold on a minute. I just hey. yoinked that out of thin air. Hell yeah. Well, I have so much health it's... and I'm stealing another kill, baby. I stole another one. I am such a rat. I'm such a fucking rat, Shit. This M4A1 is about to get it. I'm reloading. Oh, oh my stole. god, I got another one. Ew. All these attributes put together make the TOG into an absolute bruiser that may not be a fast tank or a deadly tank, but it's definitely a problem tank. No, I don't want that. Get him before the game ends. Ten seconds. Yo, get his ass, get his ass. Yeah! Yeah, got him. Feels so good when I'm not an arty piece of shit. And that's exactly what you want to be when a game like this comes down to the wire. You can't oh, say the word hamster without laughing. Hamster is a real word. I have a friend that told me that apparently when he was younger, he loved hamsters. And he had a hamster that had babies. And he accidentally touched one of the hamsters. The hamsters detected that one hamster had human scent and ate it. <laughs> 
They oh. ate oh. another hamster. <laughs> no, chat. I'm telling a real story. Stop saying hamster. Hamster. They were created you know? for the Kia Soul. <laughs> I feel like we're winning, but I think we're losing. Come here, dog. I hit him. I hit him again. I thread the needle. Oh, somebody got him. We're good. Now it's time to clean up the tug. I hit all oh, your toes, ow, Tug, ow, your dog. toes. I'm playing three-dimensional, eight-dimensional underwater chess here. Yes, I got him. I'm this getting this, Artie. He can't this stop me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I have no words. I'm just going to laugh at that guy. Okay, yeah. we're in business. Hey. Let's win hour. this. Let's win this, KB. Let's win One. this shit. Yeah, landed it. I'm swipping. Oh, he's so Ooh, low! 15, five, oh, he's 46. so low, come on! Come on, G7 reload, reload! G7. We only got 10 seconds, we can cap! They're not gonna kill me! Ah, I'm too tanky! Oh, wait, 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 my buddy died, my buddy died, hold up! He bounced, he bounced! God, he knows that I'm looking at him, though! Got him, got him! No! Oh my god! Oh, that T78 played that perfectly. He played that perfectly to not come out when he knew that I had him zero. Yeah. Does not matter. Yeah. I got a Reaper decal. That tells you everything you need to know about that match. Her I don't even body, care body. that we lost. That was so much fun. Comes down to a single shot, a single rock being launched at another dude. Difference in the whole game. Maybe, just maybe, if I would have spent my bonds on faster reloads, I could have won that game. Because Dirtbag Dustin kept telling me that spending bonds on upgrades doesn't matter because the percentages are too small when I firmly believe that an upgrade is an upgrade. It's not going to do anything for you. Like it'll give you like a slightly better reload and that's it. Two and a half percent is two and a half percent. I, I do not understand your logic. But two and a half percent of what's four seconds is like it's faster what the fuck else am i going to <laughs> spend these bonds on this is the only <laughs> thing they can buy Literally, there is zero the downside fuck, i do not what understand the, what the fuck else? <laughs> make it make sense dude <laughs> that will kill me yo y'all talking bro. but it doesn't matter now because i lost the game and i should really shut the fuck up Plus, anytime I find myself behind the wheel of a TOG, I feel like a champion anyway. So who's the real winner here? I hope you now understand why the TOG 2 is my favorite drivable restaurant, a never-ending carnival of fun, and 100% the best aircraft carrier in World of Tanks. Our AC-130 is in the air. Shout out to all of you over on Twitch that helped me make this video. It really isn't the same without you guys. I'm out here working on a nuclear weapon and watching a Badger stream. What is my life? Yo, were you that one dude that I met in the air uh, Denver International Airport? one time that guards nukes. I met this dude in the Denver International Airport. I asked him what he did. He said, oh, I'm in the Air Force. I'm like, oh, what do you do? He's like, oh, I defend nuclear weapons. And I just paused for like <laughs> 10 straight seconds to let it sink in. Shout out to Skulker for intentionally lowering my viewer count by spamming vomit sounds both forwards and backwards. <laughs> Hamster vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Play the vomit in reverse. No. Slurp it. Stop! And shout out to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. So don't forget to claim all those items for free, including the Wiener Tog, at the link below. Because who doesn't love a free hot dog? If you don't like hot the fifty hot dog at Costco, you belong in a jail cell. I have nothing else to say to you. Do you like the Costco hot dog? I can take it or leave it. All right, prison. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny when you have to explain what hamburger helper is to your wife. She does not understand what it is. One pound, one pan, one tasty <laughs> meal. <laughs> what? It's and that's about it. I would like to thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for letting me borrow your eyeballs for 15 minutes. And be sure to tune in next time when I take off this goddamn sweatshirt because it's too fucking hot. <laughs>